it's Tessa and I'm here to do my empties video and I went to Dollar Tree and I bought this little basket for a dollar. This is my official empties basket from now on. So let's just get right into it. First thing I have is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. As many of you know, this is my holy grail makeup wipes. I love these. I do switch out and try other things, but overall, these are my favorite. The next thing I finished is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation in 220 Nude. I love this foundation. In the beginning, I had a love-hate relationship with it, but after I found out that it will go on easily with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush or the Sigma F84, it has become my favorite foundation. So I will repurchase this, and I have repurchased it after I ran out of this one again. So there's that. Then I have the Colgate Total Clean Mint Paste. I just bought a little one of these. I was, ran out of toothpaste. And I got this at the Dollar Tree um, for a buck. I like the Crest 3D White toothpaste as far as whitening, but I like the flavor of the Colgate better. So I repurchased a big tube of the Colgate Clean Mint Paste for this time. Next, I have the Tree Hut Shea Body Butter in Brazilian Nut, which is my favorite body butter. Um, they're at Walmart for like five or six dollars. I've repurchased these numerous times and I've since repurchased this one. It is my go-to holy grail body butter. They have other scents if Brazilian nut is not a scent for you. So go peruse that little section because they have other scents. Next is the Venus uh, Sensitive Disposable Razor by Gillette. These are my favorite razors. I get whatever I have a coupon for, but I love these ones. The other ones I have are the Chick Quattro um, Four Blade for Women. They're okay, they're not my favorite, but I had a coupon for them, so that's what I bought. Next, I have the um, Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer in Radiant. Love this. Favorite under eye brightener, and I have since repurchased it also, so I will repurchase this again and again because it is amazing, and it doesn't crease under your eyes. That's a big thing. Um, don't want any creasing under there. Then I have my beauty blender. It is getting where it's falling apart. So I'm tossing it out. I have another one. I love my beauty blender. Um, they don't last forever. This one has seen better days, so it's going. Then I have another one of those Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I have a Royal 100% pure cotton um, pad thing. I like these ones. I got them at Big Lots. They were inexpensive. I will buy these ones again. I just buy random cotton pads. I haven't found any that I'm like, oh, I'm going to repurchase these ones again and again and again. I really want to try this Shiseido ones. I haven't got to Sephora. I don't even know if my Sephora carries them because my Sephora is just one inside pennies and they don't have all that stuff. But I haven't um, looked to see. Oh, this is just the container that my beauty blender came in. It came with two. Oh, here's the Crest 3D White toothpaste. Um, this is the other one I buy. I like it. I just like the flavor, like I said, of the Colgate better. This is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. Everybody raves about this. I just didn't like it. I didn't see why you'd want to spend. There's just a tiny bit left in there, but not enough to do one more treatment. I don't see why you'd want to spend the money on this. Um, it makes my hair smell like plastic, like I have Barbie hair, and it really isn't that deep conditioning. So I won't be repurchasing this. I'm trying out some other ones. I'll let you know how that goes. Next, I have the Revlon Color Stay um, Base Coat. It's kind of dried up now and goopy. When I use it, it's um, really, it doesn't want to dry anymore. I have since repurchased this. See how thick it is? but it's almost empty. But this is my favorite base coat. I have repurchased it and I'll repurchase it again and again. I love it. Then I have the Colgate Total Paste Plus Whitening. I did not like how this tastes. I don't like it at all. So um, it's like almost a whole tube, but I can't stomach the taste of it. So it's gone. Then I have 
the South of France Sweet Almond Bar Soap. Holy Grail Bar Soap. Vitacost has these. I wish I could smell it because it smells like heaven. On a day that I can smell, I'm like, oh, amazing. Like, you don't even want to get out of the shower. You just want to just smell this scent all day. I wish they made, like, lotions and rollerball perfumes because I buy it all. Then... I have the NYX Glide On Slide On Waterproof Eyeliner. Um, it's down to a nub. It's black. But what happens is, see how that just broke? Once it gets down to like where it's so small, I can't get the tip to um, stay to use it anymore. So that's done. I just made a complete nutter mess. Then I have this eyeliner by La Femme, I think. No, Femme Couture. Drama Eyeliner. It's all dried up. It was like a glitter liner from Sally's. It doesn't really put any glitter on your eyes anyway, so it, it was kind of a mess for me. I would not repurchase this. Okay, the last thing I have are a ton of mascaras I've been saving up that I went through. Um, some of them are samples. I'll do the samples first because there's only three full size. The first sample is What's Your Type Black Mascara from the bomb. Did not like this mascara. I like a dryer mascara, but I think it might have just been the sample was dried out because it looked like that one not very long after I started to use it. So I won't be buying this mascara. I didn't like it. This is the Pot Beauty mascara. I don't think it has any other name. Just Smoky Black. Oh, Smoky Lash Capel. Didn't like this one either. It was just a sample. Um, the brush, I like these natural bristle brushes or regular bristle brushes, but just didn't like this mascara. It's fun getting the samples though. This is the Kat Von D mascara and Sinful Lash. You can get these at Sephora. I got a sample of it. I'm not sure where it came from. Maybe my friend Deanna sent it to me. I don't remember. I like this mascara. It's just gone. Nice full brush exactly what I like, but I don't see myself spending money on a high-end mascara, so I probably won't purchase this, but it is a great mascara. This one is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I got this because I entered a contest online through Smashbox, and they sent me this mascara, and I just didn't like it. The brush is too long for my eye. That's why I didn't like it too messy. Then the last three things I have is the NYC High Definition Volume Mascara. I really like this mascara. It's a good mascara to pair with other things. It's a small rubber, rubber bristle wand. Um, it's a nice wet formula. I would repurchase this again. It's an extremely black. Then I have the Bourjois Volume Glamour Ultra Curl Mascara that I got from my friend Deanna. I like this mascara. It has a curved wand. The only thing I didn't like about this is it's a little wet, but um, I used it because I really liked it. And then my friend Deanna had sent me this. This is the first mascara I believe she ever sent me, and it's the Bourjois Volume and Fast Perfect Mascara with a Rotating Wand. This was fun. I think I'm not going to throw away the top. The um, I'm going to clean it, I think, and keep it because it rotates, which makes it really, really fun to put on. And it was a great mascara. I don't know if you can change the batteries because, like I said, I'm not going to throw it away because I want to keep that little... Yes, you can change the battery. So, I am going to clean this up and keep it and maybe stick it in another mascara that I like. So, that is everything. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Oh, oh, wait. Um, I have another empties video planned that is not makeup and beauty related. As many of you now know, I have um, food intolerance and sensitivity issues with gluten and dairy. So I'm planning on getting another, a bigger basket, maybe a real basket. And as I try more gluten and dairy free items, like foods or whatever, I'm going to put them in a basket and I'm going to do an empties video and mini reviews on that because if you have any food intolerances, you know that everything is hit and miss and it's expensive. So I want to tell you my thoughts on the foods I try. So that'll be in an upcoming video. I haven't actually started keeping 
anything yet, so I could do a video, but that will be upcoming maybe in a month or so. All right, thanks for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.